Morning guys, you lovely people. I was staying uh, two days on this campground, on this uh, municipal campground in Rada Tilly, down on the coast in the northern, northern Patagonia on the Atlantic coast and uh, made some beautiful pictures at night on the beach down there with some seagulls. Uh, Orm is already packed up, everything is fine. And now and today I'm going to the petrified forests, the, you know, the, the uh, petrified forest, how to, to explain that in English, pretty hard to explain, um, um, very old wood that uh, turned into stone and uh, it's 250 kilometers to there and then I gotta check out if I find a gas station anywhere near around it's, it's quite a lack of gas down in the south here and uh, yeah yeah uh, uh, and then maybe go 100 kilometers more and then camp anywhere and now I'm crossing over to uh, the Andes back to El Calafate let's see if it's gonna be El Calafate or El Chaten I don't know yet depends on the weather and on the temperature but within the next two three days i should be back in the andes again back to the mountains so yeah let's start this journey it is a rough road There's going to be a party tonight. <laughs> the towel. Yeah. Was a nice day. Hot showers in there. Excellent. To the left down there is the sea. About two blocks from here. And I'm gonna go to the right. <laughs> ah, easy and slow. Nice we go. We got a very cool skate park here in this town. Really cool. I wish I had something like that when I was growing up. Awesome. Bread and some uh some ham, some prosciutto or parma ham because this can get warm and doesn't get bad don't know if I if I find something on the way so I just filled my supplies up still in Radatili, didn't go far just one kilometer to the supermarket here now everything's ready maps me coordinations and here we go if i can turn the key now i can Vamos. the road looks like here it's like almost half a meter deep <laughs> it's crazy 
crazy. Yeah, there's another police control asking where you go. But I will tell them. Oh yeah. Ooh, hot cup. in this area just if you ask yourself the question why England was going around the world to fight for the Falkland Islands the Malvedinas because of the oil as usual the last view of the Atlantic and I don't know when I'm gonna see it again because now I'm going back to the Andes to the other side of Argentina and more to the Pacific side uh, to the Pacific yeah Pacific side and yeah let's see goodbye Atlantic and on we go Petrol, last gas station. I hope they got gas. <laughs> I think so. There's a way to me, feel the gravity heading straight to a field. How long will
entering the national park and in there uh, camping is prohibited prohibited and um, well uh, they're open until October to March they're open until 7 o'clock but it's 15 kilometers more so I'm gonna be there at uh, quarter to five being in there for one hour oh yeah it's okay and then I can camp when I go out there so I spend a whole day tomorrow. All good? reminder that the Malvinas are Argentinian and not Great Britain. Look, they got Nandu eggs. It's a little museum, there's nobody in here. They will come, somebody will come anyways, somehow. Yeah, it's all this petrified Woods on here. It looks like the skin of a snake here. Shark teeth, nice. Arrowheads, gold knives. Pretty cool. And here's some of this uh, petrified wood here. Look at that. And that stone, imagine that. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, somebody was finally coming uh, and registered my name and the number, passport number, and etc. and told me about the place and a little bit about the pro, uh, petrification process or silication process that uh, well these these trees we're gonna see up there is over here, but yeah, we're gonna take a picture later when we're closer they're like 50 million years old and they were covered in ashes of volcano and uh, it was covered without uh, without air so it couldn't uh, compose or decompose and uh, yeah and uh, uh, over the years they got covered and uh, through the wind they got uh, uh, uncovered again and this is what we see today and yeah they, they found like a, as, as we saw in there shark teeth and pine cones and they're totally uh, yeah they are stoned and petrified it's, it's 
crazy and all the, the landscape is amazing we're gonna have a little bit of rain later i hope we're gonna see yeah. later is when i already pitched up my tent and uh, yeah for the walk here Take my hand, cause we're falling. Everywhere you're walking on old timber and old wood. Yeah. Check this out. It's crazy. You're walking on 50 million year old timber. <laughs> it's uh, my god, it's crazy. This is surreal. Welcome to the Jurassic World. Very ancient place. That's that's old. But what a brilliant weather, no? It's not too hot, no, no sun. It's a bit windy, but that's the way it is in the Roaring Forties. Beautiful. Now we go back to the museum down there. It's un. It's, it's, I don't know, I say it all the time, unbelievable and beautiful, but it's really, that's, that's mind-blowing. Crazy. Crazy. That was an amazing visit, you see. You see it's still up there. And now it's uh, almost half past seven, uh, half past six. So it's getting later and I asked the ranger uh, that I go outside of the of the of the park and then he said it's no problem you can camp anywhere you want just outside of the park to keep uh, the natural reserve protected and yeah and this is where we go now ah, so the water passed all good that was so cool I'm happy I made it here and now going for a wild camp. And he also told me that those are only the trees that are uh, laying over. There are trees in here. They are standing up and they are petrified. <laughs> Crazy, no? Now I'm 
checking out where to, to pitch up my tent. I just went off the street. See? But there's nobody coming anyways. Thought of riding uh, further more in there, in this valley. But I don't know how the ground is in there, so I don't get stuck in the sand. And uh, yeah, the wind is coming from this direction. And let's see, uh, here's a little riverbed. There should not be any rain or water coming. So this one's going to be quite nice. Check out the wind is here. Down here. Ah, that would be okay. Nice shelter. Maybe my tent. <laughs> Maybe it fits in there. <laughs> I pray for no flood. But this spot here looks good. Set up. Oh, I put it in there. Nice view. Rain stop. Wind is okay. Just a little breeze at the moment, but there should come like 50 kilometers per hour at night. So I hope, I hope the wind uh, comes from this direction here. Then I'm totally safe. When it comes from the other direction, straight here. <laughs> then, I'm, then I'm right in the wind tunnel and it's gonna blow me out there and yeah and if it's coming from there it's, it should be also quite fine yeah I'm having a last cigarette mm. and I'm strolling through the desert <laughs> super cool amazing and I'm looking for arrowheads. My father, he used to live in South America in the 50s and 60s. And uh, when I was growing up and when I was a little boy, he had a little cabin where there were arrowheads he found. And he told me about it and, and how old they are. And since then, I just can't get it out of my head. I want to find some arrowheads myself. So. Every time I'm in a deserted area like here, I open my eyes and look if I, do, if I find some. Well, it could be, you know. Uh, the guy at the, at the uh, museum told me that, it's, uh, that they found uh, some tools made, of, uh, made out of obsidian. And obsidian, the closest area to find those are in the Cordilleras. It's like a thousand kilometers, oh, no, no, a thousand seven hundred kilometers to the other side of the continent. So there was trading going on because there is no other reason why this should be here. Or maybe people brought it here. And, yeah, I don't know. He said there was some kind of trading going on, and I like to believe this. Uh, nobody is at home. Awesome, I love it. King of the world! Riverbed. And here you go. Another piece of wood. Check it out. Isn't it beautiful? And we are 20 kilometers away from the park. <clears throat> I'm just right out of the park because it's not allowed to camp in there. So I went outside yeah. and strolling and open my eyes. What's there to find and what's there to see? Little piece of petrified wood. See that? Beautiful. Gonna take this one with me as a memory and a reminder 50 million years old <laughs> fucking awesome check it out I found this plate <laughs> what does it say Mercedes-Benz 4,3 liter and HL4 31 DS 7,0 von 1920 aus dem Werk Kassel. So it says it's uh, from, what is it, 1924? 
1924 from the factory in Kassel, Germany. <laughs> ah, I gotta take this home with me. I'll put it on Urma anywhere. I gotta, gotta glue it on the, on the bike. 1924 and I find it here in the desert. So it goes back to Europe. <laughs> I spend it out the corner here and it's not from 1924. It's just, uh, it says what kind of uh, vehicle it was in numbers, but I don't know which year this is from and it doesn't look that old being around uh, laying here for uh, like 99 years. No, that looks too new. I just found a cool piece. Look at that. Can you see that? Uh, gotta take a little bit of my glasses. It's like all the shells in there. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. A life form. This was alive <laughs> millions and millions of years ago. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, the wind is coming up, but I think it's going to be a nice sunset over there. But the wind is catching up, and so I go back to the tent. Look at that light. There you go. This little stripe here of lightning. Ah, there's a rainbow. Well, there's notches.